Help me Thank with you. the underline, the constellation of mathematics of fiscal Africa right now. Is it a better picture, and can it be a better picture into 2020 and 2025? Thank you very much, Tom. Zimbabwe certainly on its way to a better place on the fiscal front uh, because we're managing to walk the talk, we're balancing the budget. We've recorded a, a, a fiscal surplus averaging $100 million a month for the last four months since we last met. So things are looking good. Uh, this is stabilizing the currency as, as well. You know, I did say last time Zimbabwe is the cheapest buy in Africa. It has just gotten cheaper because we've instituted uh, monetary policy reforms. We have a domestic <coughs> currency. It is, it is floating. Uh, I think we're back in the game again. Right. You're back in the game again. And as you lead within your reform report, it is about governance and the age-old issue of of corruption across too many nations. How is a mathematician handling improved governance within Zimbabwe? We are, we are, we are, we are tough on, on corruption. We're determined to improve our governance. We've made a, an, an incredible progress in dealing with our state-owned enterprises. Give We've us an example. Through. Yes, we, we have, for instance, um, separated the Grain Marketing Board into separate, two separate entities, one that is government controlled and another that is commercial. <laughs> that will go a long way in cleaning up the governance of that institution. We've also rebundled ZESA, which is our electricity supply utility company, into one entity. It used to be five entities. And again, we're cleaning the governance around that institution. It will be more efficient and will result in better service delivery. All the way through, we're improving governance and we're tough on corruption, but also shining the torch on corruption. Recently, we removed the, the previous mm -hmm. anti-corruption commission and were nominating new members and going to strengthen that commission and allow it to do its job. Uh, Minister, I want to ask you about the currency. Will the government disclose the volume of trading on the, uh, on the new currency? Oh, the, the, the last week we traded seven point uh, uh, five million roundabout there. Uh, this was just the beginning. Uh, uh, remember that for the last ten years, Zimbabwe has had a fixed uh, currency regime, one to one to the U.S. dollar, uh, and so the, the the trading has started. It had, can only get better. We're also trying to improve the market microstructure and the architecture mm -hmm. of that market, and we'll see it improve quite a bit over time and begin to, to fluctuate properly. It has allowed us to also introduce proper monetary policy. Uh, uh, Interest rate right. policy. We are, we are moving. We we'll, we'll start with, for instance, targeting uh, reserve money or high-powered money, a growth of about 10%, uh, and then so, eventually so Minister, move towards so, inflation targeting. Yeah. Minister, so I get it correctly. So you're saying that the government will disclose the volume of trading in this new currency. Oh, oh, absolutely. We have to disclose that because that's the key to the understanding <clears throat> of the market microstructure. But also government will not uh, be a uh, participant in the market itself. We want to allow the market to participate. We should stay out of the market. We will stay out. Otherwise, we yeah. will distort the market. Uh, minister, the, man's, the, the mines minister just said that Zimbabwe will actually scrap the 51 percent local ownership requirement for platinum mines. What will the new level be? Oh, you, you can own 100 percent of the, the, the any mining investment, any investment in Zimbabwe. That's what is coming through. We're removing that indigenization rule, which is discouraging foreign direct investment. Our Zimbabwe is open for business. It can only be open if you're allowed to own 100 percent of investment as a foreign investor. Well, OK, that sounds wonderful, Minister. But what does it mean if China shows up at the door? Are you, big, are you going to put a big for sale sign on Zimbabwe when China shows up with all that FDI? Uh, well, you know, Zimbabwe is open for business, open for, for anyone. I'm here in the U.S., and that's been my message. Uh, if, it, if it's something pro, uh, progressive is happening, we've seen General Electric, for example, bid for building a, a huge uh, <clears throat> power up, uh, project on the Zambezi River, which we're developing jointly with, with, with Zambia. In fact, they, they have actually uh, are working together on a JV with China, a China company, mm -hmm. Chinese company, to do that. So, so we're open to business. We're open to, to anyone. And uh, I think it's fair to say that Chinese investors do have a big no. check. And Africa has a huge infrastructure deficit. So it's not surprising to see Chinese investors right. focus on infrastructure, because that's what they do all over the world. They're, they're just good at it, and they've got big checks. So, so but we're open for everyone and anyone, frankly. Exactly.